Welcome back to Perkins Engineering YouTube channel. This is episode number nine. So we thought we'd show you a little bit about how we keep these cars um, maintained. Because once the restoration process is finished, you still need to look after them a lot more than any other race car or even road cars for that matter. So every couple of months we charge a battery up, uh, check all the fluids and all the basic maintenance checks and, and start the engine up. So we thought we'd take you through that process today. Uh, so like I said, first things first, we had the battery charger on, just keeping the battery nice and charged for when we started up. Then we need to take the oil pump uh, belt off the oil pump. We get oil pressure using a cordless drill. I'll show you how that works. Uh, and then we get fuel pressure, a few other little checks, and then we can fire it up. Okay, so starting at the back of the car, we've had the battery on charge through our Anderson plug that comes out through the boot. Uh, I've got the fan heater in the boot, which is uh, taking the temperature out, edge off the oil in the oil tank. Um, so we just put the fan heater in there to yeah take a bit of temperature off. It's only 16 degrees this morning, so that'll help heat up some of the oil. And then when we go to the front of the car and uh, pump the oil through to get oil pressure, some of that hot oil from the tank goes through the engine and, and so on. The other thing we do is we actually put a trolley jack under the diff of the car. That's to get the um, diff at ride height. So if the tail shaft turns, if we run it through the gears, the diff and the tail shaft are all operating at the normal ride height in full droop. The angles on the tail shaft, uh, yokes and things, just unnecessary stress and load. So we'll do that now. Okay, so up under the bonnet, we uh, take off the oil pump belt uh, so that we can get a cordless drill and a bigger belt onto the oil pump to get the oil pressure up. So I'll whip that off now. That's the oil pump belt. We'll take the engine cover off the top of the air box so we can see what's going on in there. Also make sure that no one's put a rag there or some tape um, to cover up the trumpet. So uh, quite common in transport and things to keep debris out of there. So now we're ready to prime up the uh, oil pressure. pressure's up. Now make sure you put the oil pump back, pump belt back on or we'll have pretty nasty consequence there. All done. Okay, so now we're in the driver's seat and we can do a couple more checks. So over on the Lowry Tower of Power, first things first, we can flick on our Lambda um, to measure the exhaust gas, uh, which is over there. So that has a warm-up procedure, so we switch that on first. In the meantime, we can do some fuel pressure checks. So we put on our main uh, we can put in a reserve and our scavenge pumps, flick the ECU to bypass, and up the top right hand corner of the dash comes our fuel pressure. 79 PSI, so that's all perfect. We can flick our main off, keep working through our checks. A little bit less pressure on the main pump, so that might be a pump starting to fail. Um, but otherwise, perfect fuel pressure. We can see the Lambda's warmed up now, and we're ready to crank it over. Time to uh, fire it up.
things we keep watching while we're warming the engine up. We've got oil pressure, oil temperature, throttle percentage, which is on zero, engine temperature, which is the water 52, and the fuel pressure there. So you can give it a little bit of a rev. So that's our engine run up. Like I said, we do that every couple of months to make sure there's no issues with the car, with the engine. We check all of our fuel fittings, water connections, oil connections for leaks, uh, in case there's anything that's come loose or anything that's perished over time. Um, have another quick look around the whole car, under the car, um, do you know full, full check of everything. We record the engine water temperature then and the oil temperature. And uh, once we let it cool down, car cover back on and it's ready to go. Thanks for joining in. And remember to like and subscribe our YouTube uh, channel, Perkins Engineering. Our website, www.perkinsengineering.com.au for all news and information about not only us, but also to buy our merchandise, our hats, and hopefully some new t-shirts coming up soon. Um, thank you everyone for the support. And we look forward to bringing you another episode soon.